dear students in this class we are going to discuss about the properties of least square estimators so there are two classification of properties or two categories of properties first is numerical properties and the second one is statistical properties in this session we are dealing with the numerical properties of ols estimators so the first property first property says that the ols estimators are expressed solely in terms of observable quantities observable quantities that means this means that the ols estimators are estimated by taking the sample values or we are considering the sample in order to estimate the uh, estimate the parameters so that is the first property the estimators that we are considering is depending upon this observable quantities and therefore it is very easy to obtain the values of the parameters second property says that these ols estimators are point estimators point estimators this means that given a set of sample for finding out the values of the estimators we will get a single value as the estimated value by using this least square estimation method so the least square estimators thus obtained will be point estimators rather than this point estimator there is another set of estimators that is interval estimators where there will be a range of specific value within which our estimator will lie so we are not considering interval estimation in this case or now we will come come uh, across this interval estimation in the coming classes so now this least square estimators are point estimators so there will be a single value as the estimated value of the least square estimators okay then uh, third property uh, says that so given the sample given the point estimator property it will be very easy to identify the regression line or the sample regression function of our data so the regression line or the sample regression function will sample regression function this y this is x so it is very easy to obtain this regression line by estimating the parameters or using the observable quantities or the sample data that is provided okay so now we have to explain or we have to look upon some special properties of this sample regression function line or our sample regression line sample regression function will be y i hat is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i okay so now our next task is to identify some particular properties of this regression line okay so in numerical properties the third property we have to go in detail that is we have to identify the properties of regression line okay so with regard to regression line the first property is that this regression line will pass through mean value of x and y passes through x bar and y bar that is the first property of regression line this regression line will pass through the point pass through x bar and y bar that is the mean value of x and y